Praise the Lord. Just sitting here in low light. Uh, just chilling. You know, it's break time. I'm going to take a 30-minute break from working from home. Although um, I feel like I'm always working because it's work to do. You know, you, you can't always teach, but you can always learn. So I was having a conversation with my son, and I, and I was asking him the age of his uh, young bride and um, soon-to-be mother. And, and I expressed to him that when you're older than someone, you're the example. First of all, um, if you're saved, you know God before this person did. If you're older than this person, you learn right from wrong and right and or wrong before this person has. So so when we're older than a person, husband, wife, I mean, the, the education, I know people, some who have a PhD and the husband might have a, 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 a bachelor. The husband may have a GED, the wife might have a master's. The husband might, may have a high school education, the wife may have an associate's. They both may have masters. You know, it's 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 a combination of, of, of education. So, when we are older than a person, we have in truth, not facts, because facts change, learn right from wrong, right and or wrong. We, uh, we, uh, those of us who are believers, we have learned about a higher power, a higher being, uh, before the person because of our age. When my before my parents um died I started having dreams about that I was going to be the oldest child in the family and I would argue with God about this and lo and behold when my mom, when my dad passed he died in my arms uh, two days before his 64th birthday in 2000 September the 16th I was so angry and, and, and I started to understand I wasn't the oldest child in the family now I was the oldest child spiritually I'm, I'm the middle child it was four in front of me and three behind me so I was the middle child as I leave this alone and I'm a fraternal twin or was and my oldest sister she, uh, my twin sister was nine minutes older than me as I leave this alone so when you find yourself older than the male or the female or the husband or the wife your partner your partner who, or whomever the case may be you gotta cover the whole gambit you older you learn right from wrong first you learn truth or dare first you learn consequences you are supposed to be the example. Now, there's going to be two men or two women you're going to meet in your life. The wise man and the fool, as I leave you with this. When I was about 16 years old, I had just gotten out of, uh, <laughs> I had just got out of jail, out of jail for something we did, but we, we were minors, so they had to let us go. And I came home the next morning. My dad was so mad. Where you been? I was like, uh, out. I went roller skating, knowing I'd been out all that long, uh, catting and wilding. And so he says to me, are you a wise man or are you the fool? I got small with him. I said, uh, what's the difference? He said, I'm going to tell you. He said, the wise man learned from watching the fool. And, and, and I said, what about the fool? He said, well, the fool learned uh, if he lived through it. And I said, well, Dad, I guess I'm a little bit of both. And as time progressed, I, I started to understand what, what my dad was saying. And it's true. The wise man does watch and does learn from the fool's demise. But... If the good Lord say so, and, and perhaps, and, and you know, say so, situations say so, odds uh, say so, if the foolish man lived through his foolish decisions, only if he don't do it again does he become wise. So if you're older than that person, you are the example. Saved or unsaved, you learn right from wrong first, as I leave this alone, as I leave you be. Peace. One.